Okay, so I'm going to run this one more time just so you guys can kind of see um, where we're at here. Let me flip this. So right now I'm about 15, 20 degrees ahead. Okay, you notice? Okay, I'm supposed to be about 20 degrees before roughly, okay, up and down here. So roughly 20 degrees before top dead center. Call it four cogs. And watch that as I crank it. Watch how far that drops going down. Yeah. So, and again, the weird part is, is that if we come down here, sorry about the jumpy, if we come down here, and if you look, marks are lined up. And if you need a little further on it, I'm going to roll it a little further forward, just so you can see that the mark that we were looking at, oops, too far, sorry. look the mark on the crank see it it's there on the cam on, on the crank uh, timing gear right beside the one that's in the valley the next rise you can see the notch back towards the engine side it's there and we are now ahead about two you know, a couple of notches, which is where we're at, two notches ahead. If you look up on top, we're two notches up. Up and down's here, we're two notches up, it's two notches up. Everything is aligned up, however, we're way after top dead center. So it's something on that oil pump assembly that's spun. So what I'm noticing is, is that these have their variable valve timing, that's fine. But what I have here is I've got a lot of in and out and it's twisting in and out type play it's not I don't know how much is acceptable and it's on both intake and exhaust both intake and exhaust have about two and a half let's see Bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. Three and a half on the intake, and about two and a half on the exhaust. Sorry about that. One, two, yeah, just over two. So a little over two on the intake on the exhaust side, and a little over about three and a half on the intake side of movement. Which that, I mean, they're supposed to do that. That's, I understand that. But what I don't get is, is this in and out movement, if that should be there or not. That seems worrisome to me. I may need to be looking at that. Um, tension on release, everything released okay. Nothing's locked up. Everything's nice and snug. I'm not leaking out of my water pump. Now I'm just looking for marks on the crank to make sure I've got my crank lined up like it's supposed to be. And I'm going to top dead center and I'm going to put my uh, trusty long um, 3 8 uh, extension down the hole and uh, center it up that way. That way I know for sure. Um, but yeah, um, that's what I'm finding. I've got it top dead centered. Um, I use this as a gauge, uh, my trusty 3 8 deep extension, because I knew even at the bottom it still would be reachable and accessible. Um, I am centered on that now. So now I'm looking at everything, I'm looking that all over for marks because what I was using for a timing mark was this line and the dot that was on that keg, on that, on that cam rise, and that may not be it. So I'm going to look this over really close again and see if I can spot anything else. Trying to get a figure out on how that thing could be so far out of whack now. Because there's the marks. You can see those two. They're definitely there. 
This is a top dead center. Piston one is a top dead center. And there they sit. I don't get it. I am at least 20 degrees out, maybe even further from where factory marks are supposed to be at, up here. Right there is the factory mark, and I'm, I am one, two, as you can see. That's how far off I am. This has never been off. Um, again, the only thing I can say on it is that this nut was gone when, I, when this thing got pulled into the shop. And I don't know how that might have been affected by it. Um, the only other, the only other thing, and maybe some bright fellow can tell me, but I, I, I gotta say that's that, that doesn't make any sense because nothing else rotated. Was did that oil pump rotate? But it those marks haven't moved. They were always where I remember them to be up on top. So, and they're where they're, you know, where all the books, all everything shows it at the factory. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just completely at a loss. Poor old thing. Makes no sense. But I think I'm going to set it up, you know, the way old man taught me to do. Put it top dead center. Mark where that mark is. You know, leave a mark out here on the, out here. Showing where that's at. And um, try it from there.